Today we have a re-release of a figure which we missed out on, which is based on an illustration from one of our favorite artists, Homer. The character's name is Akane Indo, and she's made by Lettry in a big one-fifth scale. She's just under 23 centimeters in that kneeling pose. I believe she is in the same art book as our previously reviewed Homer figure, Kuan. Review link is in the description below. Akane comes in two color variants. We picked the alternate color, which is more interesting in the photos since she has tan lines versus none of that on the regular color. If you're interested in the unboxing of Akane, check out our unboxing video linked below. The figure comes with a base and some small replacement parts for the bikini as accessories. And that's it. One thing to note on my figure is that she's missing the bow that is supposed to be in the middle of her bikini. I don't know if it's just my copy or the whole batch is missing this. The base is the exact same base as Qon, in a simple brown plastic base with nice grey thick pile carpet on the top. It protects the figure when you place it on it and gives it a bit of texture in photos, which is nice. The little replacement bits are for the rings that connect the metal chains on her bikini bottom. I'm not sure why Lettry thought that we'd break those somehow and have to give us replacement parts. Akane has really nicely sculpted and painted hair with great flowing strand details everywhere. Her face matches the illustration pretty well, with the only thing that's slightly off being her eyes. They're a little bit too big, which gives the character more of an anime look than Homer's illustration. Her earrings are a nice contrast to her suntanned skin and is painted beautifully in a light gold color. Talking about her skin tone, the figure is much more tanned in person than the manufacturer photos, so be warned that Lettry's photos don't truly convey the tan accurately. Her body is well sculpted, with great anatomical details. Her abs, her back, and the folded up skin around her right waist are especially nice. Because both her arms pop off for the cast off feature, there's a small gap where they attach at the white armband. It's not the worst, but it could be better, especially on her left arm. Her left arm doesn't quite reach the base, which is actually a good thing, since it means you don't have to worry about the weight on the delicately sculpted fingers. She has a nicely painted right arm bracelet, which is actually a separate piece. Her bikini is made in a slightly stretchy plastic, and it has indentations to fit over her nipples. But it seems Lettry made it slightly too small, so the right triangle section doesn't quite fit over her breast in the right location. The bikini looks okay, with slight details, but the white slightly glossy paint makes it look more like correction fluid than paint. Her skin is amazingly painted though, with lots of nice highlight and shadow painting. The bikini tan lines are especially cool. The only thing that's a bit weird is that the tan lines do not go all the way around her body. It stops around just behind the breast on both sides. The chains connected to Akane's bikini are actual metal chains. They end in plastic rings which plug into the figure, which is why I guess Lettry decided to give backups in case they broke. But I'm not sure how this could happen since the chains aren't that heavy, and we don't need to remove the chains for anything since it's not cast offable. Her bikini bottom are separate pieces, front and back, with the middle string area just being paint. On my figure, the painting is done horribly, with areas where overpaint was obviously cleaned up, but not cleaned up well. This is a disappointment. Another weird decision by Lettry is that Akane's bikini bottom is not one piece from the front to the back. There is nothing painted or any separate pieces between her butt cheeks, though there is still those tan lines under the bikini bottom, which is a nice touch. At least her legs and butt are well sculpted, with good anatomical details. I particularly like the squeeze from the bikini string, her butt shape, as well as her thigh shape that's been sculpted. They look really good. Akane actually only touches the base in three areas. Her left foot, left knee, and the right knee. I think the illustration is supposed to have her right leg on the ground, but the figure doesn't do that, with the right leg hanging at about 
a centimeter off the ground at her foot. Looking at the prototype photos, the right foot is actually supposed to touch the ground, so this means this is just poor sculpting for the final product. Her bikini top can come off pretty easily. Just remove her head and both her arms and it comes off. There's good sculpting and nice pink painting for her nipples after removing the bikini. In this case, I think the figure looks better with the top off. The breasts are not sculpted with the squeeze from the bikini, like in the illustration, so it makes more sense based on the physics to have her bikini off. Also, we get to see more of those cool tan lines as well. I like this figure. It's not amazing since it has some flaws and strange design decisions, but it replicates Homer's illustrations pretty well. This definitely does a better job than the Qon figure. I really like the anatomical details that are replicated, and I like the idea of doing a color variant with tan lines instead of just a straight repaint of a bikini. At around 15,000 yen, I think this is a solid buy. This is a figure I would recommend to most folks who don't mind a more risque figure in their collection, and a definite buy for fans of Homer.